NASA's mission is to help stimulate and advance commercial space. We collaborate with our young professionals within NASA, private industry, universities, and basically use this as a cauldron to advance a lot of technologies through experiments. In this case, it's uh, helping to supply a, a very quick turnaround nanosatellite to the, the Firefly team. The Tech Education Satellite Series uh, is a rapid proto-flight series of incremental CubeSat developments. It's a good pathfinder for new launch vehicles to help reduce the risk that we have for other NASA missions. There's so much you can do with small cube satellites. I mean, we can help with climate change. We can help with climates in Mars, climates in Venus. We're doing pathfinding efforts to enable, you know, manufacturing and low Earth orbit. We're really interested in taking the nanosatellite concept and moving that to the lunar environment as well as Mars. Our primary payload actually for TechSat 15 is our exoatmospheric braking device, which we like to call our exobrake. Our exobrake is made out of a material that's the same exact thermal blanketed material that was on the space shuttle, which enables us to have a certain amount of control authority in, in regions of our atmosphere where most other CubeSats cannot. We're also flying solar panels that are commercial off-the-shelf units that lowers the cost of, of the most critical component of our satellite. I could actually command the satellite using email, actually. When we were uh, quarantined at home, was I was actually commanding the satellites in my bedroom. I got my aerospace engineering degree from San Jose State. You're taught very practical things from the get-go that translated almost seamlessly into industry work, especially at NASA, and, and integrating here with Firefly. I think actually she was in a very strategic location, being next to NASA Ames Research Center, um, and being near Silicon Valley, we have an opportunity to work with technology that's actually cutting edge and then be able to apply that in, in a space environment. My generation is involved in watching all the Apollo launches when I was a child and I always wanted to work at NASA and teach and be part of this. We have the job of turning science fiction into science fact. It's an opportunity for me to also work with our younger staff and excite them. They're going to define the next generation of space and space exploration.